Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever the case may be. My name's Andy Smith. I've been in the fishing industry for 45 years, and I'm going to give a short presentation on my experience and our experience here in New Zealand with use of cameras. Our toothfish vessel, the Janus, has fished down in the Ross Sea for in excess of 25 years. They have trialled an integrated scientific electronic monitoring system, SEM, over those years. And the purpose of this trial was to investigate the system suitability under Antarctic conditions, determine how much useful scientific data could be collected from the system, and test the software's reviewing capacity in the toothfish fishery as well as run basic comparisons between the data recorded by the onboard observers and the data sets generated by the SEM review. The pilot study we did was very successful and recorded 100% of all gear deployments and retrievals during the vessel's voyage. No major issues were encountered and several improvements are now planned to further enhance the functionality of the system in this fishery. The system has since been utilised by companies in all fishing operations, both in Kamala fishery and in the vessel's domestic fishing. The setup of the vessel is important, and of course it will be very, it'll vary for each type of vessel. Trawlers will have cameras in different areas depending on what you are trying to achieve. The review software can be used by Saltwater or the company that has bought the camera system. And it's very easy to review and test theories as well as pick out information on any Benthos court or anything else that observers may have missed. What we're looking at here is a timeline of the whole trip. The green line indicates the vessel's speed. Where the line thickens out indicates the variability in the speed. In this case, we had to slow down because there was too much ice around. And the pink is the hauler pressure. The system is linked to both the batting machine and the hauler. We have a baseline constant pressure which fluctuates when they are hauling. The yellow line indicates pressure from the bait machine when long linings have been set or for shooting. So from a reviewer's point of view, we can actually see minute by minute what this vessel is, do what is doing, and it's tracked by GPS. So in the top right-hand corner of the slide, you can actually see the track of the vessel, where it's been, what areas it's fished, and all that information is stored on a tamper-proof hard drive. The setting and hauling patterns are easily identifiable using the SEM system and far exceed the detail recorded on traditional fisheries reporting forms. The system allowed the data reviewers to quickly identify the catch composition by taxonomic group and give any give an accurate fish count. The estimated scaled observer fish counts were typically lower than the SEM system results. Overall, the observer's scaled data represent only 80% of the toothfish retained, 70% of the toothfish tagged, but overestimated fish loss. The SEM data review provided an excellent review mechanism for checking the tagged fish data and preliminary work using the electronic catch length determination saw good results in confirming tagging records. The SEM technology and review software can be used effectively to collect scientific data especially in the toothfish fishery, including observing any benthic burial caught. It created a mechanism to understand fishing activities 
not captured by existing data reporting and could be used to readily identify errors in data sets. The system would assist in reducing the observer's workload of routine tasks like line observations, freeing them up to carry out more important scientific tasks and improving safety by removing risk involved in some of the observer tasks, such as setting observations or working in extreme environmental conditions where the observer would be required to be out on the deck to observe. We recommend that comparisons be made between observer data and SEM data across vessels using various gear types to develop methods for improvement of the observer data. We are working together to develop the software capabilities through automation so that review can be made more efficient and thereby improve the quality of data. The use of AI in the future will be a huge step forward. SEM technology and review software has been used successfully to verify tagging data in the tooth fishery. The fish in the picture was tagged and released on the first day of the 2017-18 season and usually swam south, covering 607 kilometres in just 42 days. This was a huge anomaly and questioned by many. EM data from both vessels showed it was the same fish. Another fish tagged by a vessel in the 18-19 season at the beginning of the line was actually recaught on that same line five hours later. This was again verified by SEM. The system provides verifiable evidence to demonstrate that fishing timelines or minor compliance breaches were all accidental. Very useful in a highly controlled fishery such as Camelar. The biggest area of growth for saltwater have been pushing and adopting computer vision technologies where applicable. For the most part, this is useful in cases where accounting for discards of bycatch as C is most important. In particular, the use of discards, shoots on vessels and in processing facilities to identify and provide lengths of catch. Another is the development of web portals for cooperative fisheries where bycatch related closures are an issue. By sharing anonymized info with the co-op vessels are able to avoid areas and to prevent early closing of those fisheries. It has been a way for us to help the stakeholders maintain a level of engagement in intelligent fishing, understanding when, how and where the fishing has been successful in order to fish more efficiently and more sustainably. I'd like to acknowledge the information provided here was provided by the crew and tallies limited in New Zealand and the system provided by Saltwater USA. Thanks very much. Bye.